overview of advanced pricing. The agenda for this small session or would be like introduction to advanced pricing, what are pricing features and concepts behind the pricing, and then using the different ways of pricing and including the pricing engine. And when, when I'm using these words, these might sound very new to you, When but by the end of the session or by the end of our training, you would all be knowing what these terms are. And uh, finally, we'll have a little um, conclusion, and then there we'll see like what we have learned. Now, what I will be doing and what you will be getting is uh, the pricing features, functions of advanced pricing, and how to use Oracle advanced pricing uh, with order management, basically, or uh, any other calling application, as we call it. So this, this is the slide which is telling you about the pricing footprint. In the center, if you see, is the Oracle Advanced Pricing. And all other, you, you know, it is surrounded by other modules which might use or which can use Advanced Pricing to calculate the prices. Now, this, this slide is showing you the modules which are one of those modules which uses Advanced Pricing, but this is not limited to these. There are other you know, modules or applications which can still use Oracle Advanced Pricing to get price uh, in their respective areas. For example, if you, if you are implementing, say, a third-party system which needs pricing from Oracle, that, that system can also call Oracle Advanced Pricing to get the pricing for a product from uh, Oracle and return it back to that system. Now, main, main modules which use pricing from Oracle standpoints are Oracle Order Management, and Oracle Order Capture. Oracle Order Capture is part of Oracle Order Management, but it is little, little, you know, a little separate as well. As when well, while you're capturing the order, you can get the Oracle price as well, and and it's little uh, different because in some implementations you don't implement Oracle Order Management full flesh, but you just have order capture areas. So, any questions? Is order capture like quoting? What, what is order capture? I don't think I've heard of that. Before. Yeah. So yeah, order that's that's what. Can you elaborate on order capture? Yeah. So if you if you see or Oracle order management, it's divided into three parts like order capture, order processing, and shipping. So order capture is not uh, a separate module other than order management. But when we talk about order capture, it only involves the area where you just import the orders or just have the orders and shipping is separate. Whereas when we have order management, it comes along with the shipping part. So that is the difference. So order capture, if you see order management and you just enter a line, that part you can think about just capturing the order. You're not processing it or shipping it. Got it. Oh, OK. OK, thanks. So this is just just a review question, just to let people know that they are seeing, they are capturing what they are seeing. So just from the previous slide, the question comes up: which application or suites use pricing? So so the answer is a little obvious here: order management and CRM. So just to capture your attention, that's what I kept it here. But general ledger and cash management don't need advanced pricing. Similarly, advanced planning, which is your ASCP, and scheduling and purchasing, they don't need order pricing. Now, the pricing concept. So these are the terminologies that we will go through one by one now. So the pricing engine, the pricing engine determines the selling price for products and services. It provides answers to the following question. Now, the questions in here are, what is the product or service that you want to price? How do, does that service or product qualifies for prices, benefits, or adjustments? And how do I adjust the order and order line prices? Now, when I say pricing engine, what it means is a program that uh, Oracle uses with all the different types of, you know, modifier, qualifier, pricing agreements, those kind of things, and a program within there, pricing attributes and all those things, which gets called when you are trying to get the price. 
Now when you are trying to implement that, th these three questions are like the basic questions which which kind of you, you can think of like this is what the pricing engine is answering you or needs you, needs input from you so that it can give you the right price. So this this uh, this concept will be later on. We'll be re revisiting some of these terms, but this is the overview, like how the pricing engine is, you know, behaving or answering us or for a business problem. Now, now going ahead on those three things. Now, when we say product hierarchy and pricing attribute, what does that mean? Now, suppose you have different types of items in your organization and they are like classified into say grade A, grade B, grade C. Now you want to have common pricing for grade B so that's how you know there will be some attribute on those items like a category uh, where you will say this category item should be priced for say ten dollars. Or this category item should be priced at their cost plus twenty dollars. So those are the kind of things like uh, the pricing engine needs inputs to price those things. And how we'll do it? We'll go, go one by one to the details of these things. Okay? Okay. So, so yeah, so as we are going through, we'll see some terms. Now, one of the terms of pricing or advanced pricing is qualifiers. So qualifiers are the are the you know concepts or uh, thing that tells us what which when we are giving discount or promotion which items will qualify for it so for example certain type of customers like suppose for retail customers or for a wholesale customer you want to give discount so or some vip customer class you want to give discount so these things on will will tell you that these these people or this set of data qualifies for getting a discount or getting a, a surcharge. So so that that thing that makes them uh, you know like uh, likewise like among them have a common property that is what qualifier is used for. And another example was order type. Suppose a special order like a holiday sale is going on, you create a new type of order and then you say whenever this, or this kind of order comes up, just give discount of $10 or 10% on each order volume. Now, now qualifier makes the pri uh, order line or say entity eligible for a discount and the thing that gives discount is called modifier. Now modifier is a thing which in like our previous example we say these customer want to get a discount. Now the thing or the program or the way it's get discount is called the modifier. So suppose normal price is hundred dollar for everyone and because that customer qualifies for that discount so the thing that changes the price from hundred minus ten dollars is called modifier. So there are different types of modifier just to act upon, you know, that order line. So examples can be here listed as like, you know, different types of discount like $10 is off, 2% of actual price, promotions or sale like buy one get one free, uh, item replacement kind of modifier like whenever you get an item A, replace it with a better item B, or a coupon coupon kind of thing like get a $10 coupon when you buy over $300. So these are very basic but very important concepts of pricing. Qualifier and modifier they go together and uh, qualifier as I said just to repeat uh, and, we, and we will be using these terms throughout our training so uh, though they might sound very new to you right now if you haven't heard of them but we will talk of them uh, in details and I'm sure that by the end of uh, training you guys will be very familiar with these terms. So so that's, that's like the high level thing for modifier and qualifier. Now, now these will be, this is the pricing again I'm kind of summary of the three things that we talked about. What is item or service like product hierarchy, pricing attribute, 
Qualifier tells us who qualifies for price benefit and adjustments. And modifier is how should I adjust the price. So these are the three things that we are talking, talking about on the pricing concept. And these are being used by the pricing engine itself. Yep. So now this one, this diagram is an important way, like the things that we were talking about. And uh, it's like it's like the pricing, pricing engine is at the center which is using different kind of things like price list agreements, pricing formulas, basic price modifier, formulas plus minus adjustments. These are the things which the pricing engine uses. And when, when the pricing, you have to think like, you know, in the center there is a pricing engine which gets an input and gets an output. The output is your final price and the input is like who qualifies for getting discount or basically a sales order line you can say but to explain here like on the sales order line who qualifies for getting discount will be determined by the pricing engine what attributes pricing engine will use like one customer one item all customer all item different kind of attributes it will use to price the line because it's not only just giving discount or promotion but to determine the price as well on the line so normally if there are no discount or promotion that means there are no qualifiers or modifiers but still a price will be returned so that's how the whole pricing engine you know in a nutshell works yeah when, when we go to attributes and linkings can you elaborate on that uh, I know at this point you're explaining on a high level so when it comes to the attributes attribute context and linking yeah mm -hmm. mm, yeah I do want you to elaborate more on that because that is the main thing right the attributes and linking yeah. is the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is. It it is like very important concept in pricing. Uh, I will. I will still uh, prevent myself to saying that it is the main thing, but it is. Yes, it is one of the most important thing. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So this this again we'll see a similar diagram again in next page. But what it is telling us the pricing process how it starts. Now, now calling application or, uh, you know, like a sales order line or anything tries uh, to get price, then it gives you a pricing request. Like what would tell me the price for these order or lines. So it's an example we are using like sales order one, two, three, customer number one, line one is of some shampoo. So it's trying to call the pricing engine. Now when the pricing engine is being called, it selects the eligible list and removes some incompatibilities. We'll talk about incompatibility later. Now pricing engine in turn is using these qualifier, product, attribute, price list, agreements, modifiers to get the price. And lastly, like the pricing request is structured like out of so many things, how will the pricing engine determine? So it has a little structure in itself, like what to do to get the price. So, so this is this is again a little more elaboration on the same thing. Now the structure is like line one, product and qualifier hierarchy. Line two, what is the product and what is their qualifier hierarchy, and then pricing engine will find that, and then based on uh, the price list, agreement, modifiers of formulas, it will calculate the base price, and then out of base price, it will you know, so base price is hundred, and then if this customer qualifies for a discount of ten dollar, then it will find out the selling price and then after finding that out it will return that price to the calling application a calling application can be any module or or just a sales order kind of thing so I mean um, as you already are using Oracle I will not go through the very very basics of it but I know you guys know this as the navigator so I'm on the Oracle page if you see here and there are so many responsibilities and modules on the left of it so I'll, I'll, I've already opened the responsibility Oracle pricing manager global and I have just been to one of the applet or the Java screen or forms screen as you call it and this is how your your you know pricing manager responsibility looks like okay so qualifier setup price list, pricing formulas, modifiers, 
pricing agreements items this is this items is just a link to the inventory item masters it's not like it's the property of uh, pricing but it is just given here and then there are setups profiles lookup attributes management as we were talking about so linking of attributes is most important one of the important thing event phases source systems items unit of measures and reports so we'll we'll try to cover uh, most of these through our, our throughout our training programs but just to give you guys little little you know overview as of uh, now the items customers these are the two important master set of data which determines like what kind of pricing you will have for example customers you might have special customers or you know the new customers to whom you want to give first time discount similarly there will be some items and their properties which will make those items eligible for discounts or promotions now one of the important features on items is item category which we know like how you categorize your uh, items like high selling items or whatever way you want to categorize the another important thing for items is unit of measure now unit of measure when i talk i know you guys know like you know whether you want to sell this item in a case in a box in a pallet or individually as a unit so those kind of things you know change the price of item uh, we know that but but i just want to tell you like we have seen organizations where there are so many unit of measures like say 40 50 unit of measures and then there are organizations which have uh, you know optimized their unit of measure to be limited to four or five and then they 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 don't find difficulty in pricing as much as the other ones because they have already standardized their policies around those unit of measure. 